domestic war on terror is here, is coming after half of the country. They've begun to fight a new enemy in a new war on terror. False flags have happened in this country. One of which may have been January 6th. Tucker is peddling some deeply dangerous propaganda that the insurrection was actually a false flag operation. He has floated this before, but there are plot holes big enough for Alex Jones to drive a monster truck through. He said this back in September. You don't see people hiding bombs or using bayonets or firing weapons, trying to take over the country in an insurrection. You see people walking around and taking pictures. They don't look like terrorists, they look like tourists. And all of them, by the way, are American. Tucker has already described the insurrectionists as tourists. So they were just tourists while also carrying out a false flag attack on the Capitol. Sorry, you can't have it both ways. Right. CNN reported that Trump wants to block congressional investigators from obtaining all sorts of White House records, handwritten memos from his chief of staff about January 6th, Trump's call logs, former Vice President Mike Pence's call logs, as well as White House visitor records, which is a reminder that, oh yeah, this alleged false flag operation happened when Trump was in office. Tucker is just giving a pass to fringe elements on the far right, which is insane considering all of the extreme rhetoric we've heard just in the past week. This is tyranny. When do we get to use the guns? No, and, I, and, I, and I'm not, that's not a joke. I'm not saying it like that. I mean, literally, where's the line? How many elections are they going to steal before we kill these people? So, well, then there's Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, who appeared to justify what happened on January 6th. January 6th was just a riot at the Capitol. And if you think about what our Declaration of Independence says, it says to overthrow tyrants. 20 incidents, 15 on their face are nonviolent. My God, a parent did a Nazi salute at a school board because he thought the, the, the policies were oppressive.